What's up friends? Welcome or welcome back to 9 and 3 quarters. It's Carissa here and I'm so excited to be back in full force with this mega collab video, this rainbow reading with six other magical, incredible readers here on YouTube. And you know, I've been out of commission for the last couple months. Uh, I've been like spotty with my contents, but here I am back in full force. I promise you I'm back in full force kicking off this new year with a banger with these six incredible readers, you guys. Thanks to Odessa Mall, Mystic Intuitive Healer here on YouTube for bringing us all together and putting this reading together, to be honest with you. She really is at the spearhead of this whole thing and brought us all together and um, I'm super excited for all the messages that are going to come through from each of us and how they're going to align. Um, it's such an honor to be working with all of them and they're so magical in their own special way. Honestly, I just, the messages that I've gotten from them um, individually already have been just so incredible. You know, I've been watching a few of them prior to this and I've, I was excited to um, work with them even before Odessa brought me into this collaboration so i was so stoked and then to meet all of these new creators um these new readers that i haven't gotten the pleasure of working with so i'm just so like i'm i'm excited you know i'm i hope you're excited if you're new here and you're coming over hello Welcome. Thank you so much for coming over. I hope you guys are excited and feel the warm vibes and the magical vibes here and you feel called to hit the subscribe button and join us over here. Um, we're all about Harry Potter here as well, this magical vibe. And um, sometimes you might hear my dogs or my daughter in the background, so I do apologize, but that's just life here. And I keep it going. Um, I keep it going and I bring you the message anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you guys have been with me, thank you for being so patient with me. Thank you for the support. Thank you for always being here. And just thank you for those of you who have been so patient and those of you who have reached out even to check on me. So I really appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, I just, I love you guys. And I hope you guys have an incredible reading. 2023 is the number seven. Um, just a divine number. So much, so much happening i'm so excited this is going to be an incredible year you guys um i can just i feel it so i'm excited um but yes i do want to introduce the seven readers that are participating in this reading i know i announced it in the community post but just to be a little more formal here um we have Dion with scarlet serpent doing the color violet associated with the crown chakra we have jenna with jenna's wishy corner doing the color orange associated with the sacral chakra we have kaylee with bluebird magic with the color red associated with the root chakra. We have Berku with Leo Guidance Time associated with the color blue and the throat chakra. We have DF with Damselflies, the color yellow and the solar plexus chakra. And then of course we have Odessa Mull, Mystic Intuitive Healer with the color green and the heart chakra. And then of course me, Carissa, doing um, indigo with the third eye chakra hence the eyeball theme i've kind of got going on here there's an eyeball on this there's an eyeball here there's four eyes here and then we got the eyeball thing going on here so i did my best you guys um but yeah without further ado let's jump into the reading okay i know that's what you're here for um by the way all of these magical readers are linked down below their reading are their readings are linked down below um along with their channels so please go ahead and check them out i love them each so so much they're so magical the readings that i've got from them individually have been so spot on i love them um, i've been a fan of many of them for so long already so this is incredible i'm, I'm so excited you guys um you, you just have to check them out if you haven't already and if you have you already know you know what i mean Anyways, jumping on in, we are looking at what is your third eye activating? You can tell I'm excited because I'm jumping all over the place. Um, what is your third eye activating for you? What can we get out of this? Anything that needs to be healed or looked at? Um, any messages we can get from that uh, as well as self-care? Okay, we're going to look at all the things. All the things, so whatever comes through. I kind of left it open to what your third eye needs to be. What, what needs to come through? For that I, I wanted it to be open because I felt like that's what it needs to be so 
three groups for you to choose from. Starting off with group one, we have the Eyeball Rubber Ducky. I saw this in Fun Factory, like one of those claw games, and I had to win it for this reading. I was like meant to be, and I want it. So there we go. We have the Four Eyed Rainbow for group two. Oops. I just revealed some cards there. <laughs> and group three, we have the Bulgy Eyed Octo. Bulgy Eyed Octo, or Taco, I like to call it. Taco is octopus in Japanese, you guys. But there are your selections. Please go ahead and pause the video here to take all the time you need to make your choice. And I will drop the timestamps down below and meet you at your reading. What's up group one? If you chose the eyeball or rubber ducky, welcome to your reading. Um, right off the bat, you guys, I'm feeling like your mind might be pretty like active. You might be neurodivergent for some of you guys. Um, if not, don't worry about it. Um, but I just, it's almost like the channels keep changing. Like I just keep seeing, it's like a TV in my head and someone keeps changing the channels. Um, and then I also think water might be significant because I keep seeing like a, like a river. Um, that might be important or significant to someone. Um, but that message might be like a message in regards to like uh, meaningful. So we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. But I definitely feel like, you know, maybe your third eye is very active at this time or it's being elevated in terms of like upgrades you know you might be having significant upgrades or your mind gets a lot of downloads as far as like your third eye gets a lot of downloads maybe you have a lot of visions things like that um and just because there's so much uh visuals um i'm also hearing things like hearing songs um I don't know why for the life of me I can't think of the title when I love 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 the song this always happens when I channel but um like I blank out on the title of the song even though like it's one of my favorite songs um by Fleetwood Mac thunder only happens when it's raining um I know that's not the title of the song but that's the part I'm hearing one of my favorite songs too and I can't freaking think of it but that's what I'm hearing right now so I will pop it on the screen, of course. We have, wow, this makes sense. We have dreams with third eye chakra. This is the third eye chakra, number 26. We have 31 magic. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. We have the elephant, and this is fire sign energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You don't have to be these signs, but you can take that as a layer of confirmation. We also have number eight, supernova. Wow. and we have success I know that there is no greater goal than to love okay well wow, group one this is awesome energy okay definitely get why my mind kept changing I feel like your dreams right now are very active you might be having very vivid dreams at night but starting off with um the elephant I feel like you guys I'm hearing unstoppable by Sia um that song might be very significant or have significant meanings in there for you if you want to take a listen um but auspiciousness um you're very wise lots of good fortune definitely this time in your life what your third eye is activating like even the elephant here the third eye is highlighted there as well lots of that energy um ganesh may be a very uh like a deity that you might feel connection to or drawn to at the moment or soon you know things like that don't worry about it if not um 
but definitely this time um, is good for your this this blah, blah, blah. why can't I talk <laughs> clearing this time is really good uh, like when the elephant shows up it's about like clearing the path for you know clearing the path for you clearing any obstacles in your way if you've been feeling stuck lately like stagnant or stuck or blocked by anything you know this is a time where you know I feel like things are going to be cleared up for you and really reaching the path to success you know like things are just going to start being unleashed and really you finally getting to your dreams you know reaching the full potential of your magic and um popping into this supernova energy honestly um my mind is racing wow and my heart is racing like everything's racing it feels like oh wow this is like big energy you guys for such a small little duck too it's crazy um so where do I want to go first the fact that you have two eights here I mean really is about action a lot of change coming in um, a lot of power you really stepping into your authority let me talk about that first of all okay this is you really stepping into your power and unleashing that this supernova card is really making me feel like um, I don't know if you're familiar with the movie X-Men but if you are if you're not um, don't worry I'll kind of explain a little bit I guess um, but there's a character in X-Men called Jean Grey and she's always afraid to lose control of her power because she can't fully tap into it because she's afraid of losing control, you know, because she's so powerful um, and that power scares her, you know, she has this magical ability to control things with her mind and um, it scares the shit out of her, you know, but what she doesn't realize is that makes her so freaking powerful like one of the most powerful mutants um in all of x-men you know um and when she does release that fear of control she becomes the phoenix you know and she kind of looks like this this character right here the supernova and she just goes like whoosh, it like unleashes like an explosion um and she really taps into her full magic and has this like success like she can finally do all the things she ever more than she ever imagined in her wildest dreams but she also becomes something that she you know maybe a, a totally different person but at the same time it's who she always was, you know, at the same time, because like that was always in her, if that makes sense. Um, but there's also this dark part of her, you know, because they show like it's called Dark Phoenix, but they also show that part of her, you know, the shadow aspect, because um, there's no balance, right? So this is about you. I feel like, I feel like this is about you really balancing that, finding this balance within yourself to really unleash that power within you, that magic within you that you have, clearing away any obstacles, any fear, doubt, and anxiety that has been holding you back and tapping into that, that intuition that you have, that third eye that you have going on. Because I feel like your dreams have been telling you a lot lately. I feel like you know at night you might be getting a lot of downloads a lot of vivid dreams a lot of things that might be really scary for you you know in terms of like what you can do in your waking life maybe you have really big dreams of doing xyz let's say for example um you have the the easiest thing i can think of is like youtube okay um so bear with me let's say you have a really big dream of being a youtuber and you're just so afraid to put yourself out there like oh i don't think i'll ever reach success i don't think i'll ever be able to, to um put myself out there for criticism and people might not people aren't gonna like me what if somebody doesn't like me you know things like that like you let all of those fears and doubts and anxieties hold you back when in fact you know you need to be looking at like all the things that could happen all the magic inside of you that could be unleashed to the world and never mind those fears and doubts and anxieties unleash this badass that's within you you know regardless of gender right um because it's energy always energy here we're all inclusive here um just understanding like you have so much magic and wisdom and special unique things within you that there are people out there like you 
that need to see that, that are waiting for you, that are hoping that you put yourself out there so that they can connect with you, so that they can vibe with you, so that they can be like, finally, someone who gets me, someone who understands me, someone who's like me, who can inspire me to do what I want to do in my life, you know, because had you not done that, maybe that wouldn't inspire someone. And even if you inspire like 10 people, 20 people, that's a classroom. Start off with that. Five people, that's a group of friends, right? 10 people, that's a little small community, right? 20 people, that's a classroom. Then it becomes 100 people. That's crazy. Can you imagine standing in front of 100 people? That's crazy, you know? Just to put it into perspective, you know, and I, I used to think that's that's like that's like peanuts compared to ginormous creators with like two hundred thousand and a million subscribers, you know, but like really put it into perspective of like what that looks like in real life, you know, and the people that you really want to touch on, like are the people who really are there for you. The people who really, really like take the time to communicate with you, take the time to say, hey, I really resonated with you you and what you put out there. I really like the message that you had today. I really like that piece of content that you put out today and you, you really inspired me to do X, Y, Z, you know, and that makes such a difference. It's like, that part of it makes it all worth it versus like the number aspect. It's the quality versus the quantity, if that makes sense. And I know I'm getting a little off topic here, but I feel like that's kind of what the message coming through is. It's about like starting off with this small little flame like this elephant has here and like taking it and making it like a huge, um, what is it called? A huge like ember? I don't know. What's the word? A huge fire, brush fire, um, because I'm just seeing that this uh, what is that movie called? Jungle Book, where Mowgli has that tiny little torch. You know, it just started off as a little flame, and then it just like, boom, it came into like this huge brush fire to wipe out all that was in front of him, and it cleared the way, and made way for something new, for something better, and that's what the elephants did. They came and they helped clear the way, clear the obstacle. And then that made so much room for all the new things, all the better things, because they had more water. They had more uh, way for them to, you know, bring life back into the jungle. And that's what, that's what the elephant did. That's what you guys are going to do. You know, that's what your third eye is activating within you. You're upgrading, you're leveling up. You're starting to see the magic within you. And this card, this dream card is about your dreams that you're getting. You have these dreams within you for a reason. You have this ability within you, this magic that you are ready to unleash to the world and reach the success. You know, it's about loving yourself enough to recognize that you have what it takes to share with the world. You're worthy of these things. You are worthy enough to dream it. You're worthy enough to plant that in the soil and make it happen in the waking world. So let's get a little more details here. The tarot. So I feel like I could give you a whole last reading with just these cards here. Let's elaborate. So what is group one's third eye activating for them? Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups reversed. We also have the Page of Wands reversed. What is Group One's third eye activating? The Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Ten of Pentacles. The back of the deck is the Page of Cups. For now. Okay, guys. So what I'm feeling like here is like... Whoa. So what I'm feeling like here is like... You're not really 
feeling fulfilled or you haven't been feeling fulfilled by what you're currently doing or lately. You know what I mean? And I get it. You know, you're not really happy or completely satisfied. You could be happy, but maybe not completely, right? You don't have a full 10 of cups here um, in your life. And that's totally, I get it. Maybe, you know, you reach a certain point and not to say that you're ungrateful because I don't want it to come off sounding that way, but definitely the fact that you know, because we're talking about what your third eye is activating here is that you have so much of this untapped magic within you that, and you have these dreams of what you want to do. And it's about you finally unleashing this dream and making it happen. Right. But you're feeling a little bit of unworthiness as far as like what this is. And for some of you, it could be like something that has happened previously in your life that didn't go according to plan because you didn't get started on the right foot. Maybe it wasn't planted correctly. Maybe it didn't get the right nurturing. Maybe it could be an inner child thing as well with this page of cups here. You know, it could have been something that happened previously. It could have been something that you needed to get some rest from, um, something like that. And now that you've had this rest, now that you've had some time to, you know, get some recluse and things like that, respite, I am seeing like you're finally seeing like this this like spot of inspiration it's like pigs must be flying because it's like I feel like a new person like I see the light at the tunnel I see this there's like something in me pulling me forward and I'm like oh my gosh I know there's something bigger and better about to pop off and I don't know how to explain it but it's just there and like it could be that you explain it to someone and like you feel it so much in your soul, so much in your heart and like you, you're so excited and it's like it lights your soul and your heart on fire and it makes you so excited. You might even like cry tears of like excitement and happiness because you can feel it. It's like this deep inner knowing and like people don't get it, right? People around you might not understand or they might bring you down because they don't understand and that might get you in this, in this area here where you feel unworthy or like dumb or things like that I'm, I'm here to tell you right now like stop telling people that stop telling people your vision because they can't see it because they don't have the right lenses on you know they can't see what you see they're not meant to it's not their dream it's not their vision it's like it's like when someone else shares their dream with you, like, oh, I think we should do this and that. Like, I don't know if you ever had a partner before who wanted to have this dream of like doing something together, but that's their dream and not your dream. And it's okay. It's okay. And I know it's difficult, but like, I don't know how to explain it. Like other than that, cause that's kind of what I'm being shown, but it's like, or it's like your parent wanting you to do what they want to do because it's their dream for you, but it's not your dream, you know, and they don't see that. And like, it's heartbreaking because like, they don't see your, your vision because they have a different set of glasses on. You know what I mean? They're on a totally different, they're in a totally, they're reading a totally different book than you. You know, it's not even like they're on the same page or in the same chapter. It's like a totally different book, you know? They're reading, um, they're reading, what do you call it? You're reading Harry Potter and they're reading Twilight. You know what I mean? Totally different stories. And it's, they're both good, but um, it's just totally different. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you see your vision and you're going to activate that this year you're inspired and you your heart is singing and you're it's lighting up and it's just about you going for it you know and so well, spirit can you clarify like how can i need to shovel one more since that is being activated for you how can um let's see How can group one tap into this? How can group one tap into this? Because you're activating big dreams that are leading you 
to a path of success. That dream is unlocking the legacy that you are building for yourself. This pathway of abundance and success, which is both here. Okay. How can group one activate this? How can group one activate their third eye and their vision? Let's move this down a bit. So we have more space. How can group one, oh! Don't think that one's for you, it's this one. Don't worry, way too many cards. How can group one activate this? Mm-hmm. Back of the deck is the Five of Cups reversed. Okay, so you guys, this is really about you finding like-minded people and working together with them, you know, like reaching out to a community or something that really draws you in. Like what, what is it that lights your soul on fire? And then going out and finding that community, you know what I mean? With this three of pentacles or putting yourself, putting your work out there. That's what I'm hearing too. Um, cause I think it can go both ways. Once you start doing that, I think people are going to start recognizing what you are doing and you're going to build a community around you and or and or you are going to like, I just feel like there's going to be a communion of people around you. Um, really recognizing your talents and your work and your efforts, things like that. I think you need to really allow yourself to get out of your head because I think you let your mind lead you a little too much, a little too, too much like logic allow yourself to have balance when it comes to what you are doing when it comes to making decisions um let your intuition guide you have a little bit of balance when it comes to logic and intuition and like using your heart as well um with the queen of cups reversed here yeah it's just really about you not allowing yourself to get too emotional in it and being very balanced I'm just really guided to this like it looks like scales on her arms here and also her like touching her head and these crows like coming at her and saying hey hey, hey. you know like just too much in her head and also like closing her eyes um and then here with the queen of cups in reverse it's like too much in your in your emotions things like that I feel like it's just about you finding that balance in between and allowing yourself to really not let the emo your emotions get the best of you when it comes to moving forward and when it comes to making decisions um as well as when it comes to like dealing with those around you who may not agree with what you're doing because i feel like with even with mercury retrograde being right now i know this is a timeless reading but if you're watching during the time of upload um just be really mindful of your energy and how you might react to certain people you know maybe allow yourself some boundaries um, when it comes to sharing what you're doing um, with others who may not fully support you at this time it's usually the people who are the closest to you who take the longest to really get on board or really see your vision because it's not because they don't love you it's actually quite the opposite it's usually because you know they love you so much that they don't always see the practicality in your dream that might not be you know what is what they want for you is what I mean you know um, sometimes they fear that they fear that difference um, because they don't see the stability in it or they don't they don't understand it and that scares them you know what I mean um, I hope that I hope that's coming across correctly like for example like an old school person would really want you to have a stable state or federal draw because it's stable it's um got good benefits and retirement and things like medical dental things like that but you really want to like be an entrepreneur and start your own business or something like that versus you know and you have to pay extra taxes and they're like oh well, you don't get mental um, mental you don't get medical and dental i was combining the words together 
Um, you don't get medical and dental and you're not guaranteed a paycheck. Um, how do you know you're going to get money and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So, um, it's not that they don't support you and they don't think you can do it necessarily. It's just that they really want the best for you and they don't want to see you struggle or things like that. Um, but yes, try to see it that way. Um, while I do know that there are people out there who definitely have more toxic relationships with those who, you know, are in their life and their family, things like that. And it's quite exactly what you, you know, what it is. Um, please take it, take what I say with a grain of salt. You know your relationship better. Um, but I'm just trying to equally spread the message here. Um, so yes, I do feel like with this eight of cups in the reverse here, this is kind of like maybe you started two things. Some of you may have started something before and you got scared or you may have gotten like one bad comment or something like that or even a couple and decided like, oh my gosh, this isn't for me. People aren't going to like me and I'm really bad at this. So I'm going to stop. Like I'm a failure. I should not do this. Um, and this has always been like, oh, that's something I always wanted to do, but I suck at it. You know, let me tell you, <laughs> I've tried YouTube twice, twice before this, twice before this. And yeah, I stopped because I got a couple of bad comments and um, I always knew I wanted to do the YouTube. I just didn't feel like in the right space, in the right calling. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to be here. I knew I wanted to reach a community. I knew I wanted to build a community. And I knew I had something to do here to reach people that weren't in my physical life, if that makes sense. And I, here I am. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I wouldn't, you know, three is my lucky number. And I'm doing the best thing I love. And did I know how to do everything right away? No. Um, was I great at first looking at my first video and everything? No. Um, it's a learning process. It's a learning curve. I'm learning and doing as I do every single day. And do people love on me all the time? No, I get mean comments a lot. Um, and for the most part, you guys are absolutely amazing and incredible. And I love you guys so, so much. So thank you guys for being so kind and gracious and just patient with me. So I really appreciate that. But just keep in mind that there are mean people out there and they suck and they can kick rocks. But just know that when you put yourself out there, it's going to suck and it's going to have its hardships. But I promise you. The, the good will outweigh it and you just need to hang on and it's a learning process no no one's perfect their first try or even their second or third it takes time it's a learning it's constantly growing and constant researching and teaching yourself and it's just it just is what it is so that's the first thing okay the others of you this is like you had to walk away from something in order to make room to do this new thing that's happening that's coming in that you've been dreaming of doing and this is long overdue okay you've been unhappy for quite some time and it's time for you to go and do the dang thing okay um before most of you i do feel like this is something that you've been you may have tried before and it's time for you to go back because this five of cups here in the reverse i just feel like we are going back to pick up those spilled cups of water and it's like nope we are making these cups but we're picking them up and flipping them back up because we are you know making our own we are making our own greatness here with that and we are unburdening ourselves with a ten of wands in the reverse like we're unburdening ourselves of anything that we feel like we are unworthy of anything we feel like is not our own and not our own fear and anxiety it's a projection of someone else's things on us and you know I feel like that's what it is we're moving forward and we're feeling great about it so before this reading gets too long let's finish off with some of these let's see what else what other messages I don't even know if you really need these because I went kind of long on your reading but here we go anything else that we need to know about your third eye before we close out with self-care cards for group one anything else 
about group one's third eye. We need to know. Okay, celebrate, you guys. Yes, celebrate because guess what? You guys are going to be elevating this year. You know what I mean? Elevating. That was quick. Liminal space. I do feel like this has a lot to do with like a rebirth of sorts because this is a coffin here. And just knowing that you are holding space for yourself, upholding those boundaries. I do feel like that's what's coming through too with this card. Not necessarily what it means, but I do feel like that's a, mess a, blah, a message that's coming through here for you guys. Um, the back of your deck, we have find the light with this moth. Definitely a, kind of like a rebirth here coming through again. Find the light even in the darkest times, you know? That's what I'm hearing. Dumbledore, I'm hearing Dumbledore. Just need to turn the lights on, you know? Okay, let's finish off with these self-care cards. Advice and guidance for group one when it comes to healing their third eye, things like that. I mean, of course, you can definitely listen to your third eye chakra, the 888 hertz, which I dropped a link down below as well. We have number 19, deep breathing. Meditation with the deep breathing helps a lot. Self-care for group one, please. Whoa. Too many cards, yo. Self-care card. Self-care for group one, healing their third eye or opening it up. Connect with your womb. Okay, inner child healing, definitely healing that inner child, getting in touch with your inner child, doing things that is really fun for you, things that are fun for you as a child, and things that are playful and joyful for you, you know? Playing video games, um, watching things that are very nostalgic for you might be really helpful as well. A beauty ritual, okay, I like that. Even if you're a dude, okay, or you identify as a he, or they doing something that makes you feel good, makes you feel beautiful. One more, please. We're gonna take both. We have sync with the moon, number 51. And number 18, dance. Get back into your body, you guys, for sure. Okay. And the back of your deck, we have 20. Dream journal. Yes, I forgot to mention that with this dream card as well. So thank you, Spirit, for reminding me. Um, dream journal, for sure. Writing your dreams down. Keeping a dream journal because your dreams may be giving you messages that you don't even recognize. You may not remember because they're so vivid. Things like that. So keep a handy-dandy notebook next to your bed um, or your notes app next to you so you can jot down what comes through at night. And then you can kind of decipher it the next day or something like that or later when you have time. Because um, you, you may forget, you know what I mean? So definitely do things like that and yes you guys that is where i'm gonna leave your reading group one thank you so so much for allowing me to read for you please don't forget to check out your other amazing readings from the other readers dropped down below in the description box as well and yes if you guys enjoyed it i would love it if you went ahead and smashed the like button and comment down below an eyeball so i know you're from group one and leave me a comment letting me know um how it resonated for you and what you guys thought about this so i'd love to chit chat with you in the comment section i love talking the story with you guys and hearing your stories things like that and getting to know you guys so thank you guys so so much for being here and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you feel inclined to subscribe i would also love it if you joined our magical family here and subscribed and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat I will also be linking my Patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube as well as other exclusive content not available here on YouTube as well. So that link will be down below in the description box. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for being here and watching. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you see this and I will see you very soon. Bye! 
What's up group two? If you chose the four eyed rainbow, this is so cute by the way and it matches my little, I couldn't even pick but I picked this one instead of that one for your group. Um, Welcome to your reading. Right off the bat, you guys, I'm hearing this song called Bottom of a Rainbow by Kimmy A Minor. I will link it down below. She's a local singer here in Hawaii. Absolutely love that song. Um, but I'm hearing that song for you guys. Um, please go ahead and give it a listen. It's beautiful. She has a beautiful voice. <clears throat> um, I feel like you guys might even... You guys just might be in this time or coming into a time of your life where you're very appreciative of the things that you have around you, the things, the people, um, everything that you have, good and bad, you know, just for all that has happened thus far and really seeing like why you had to go through what you had to go through and seeing like just seeing the rainbows in the storm you know what i mean because without the rain there would be no rainbows you know what i'm saying and um that's why i'm hearing that song too i think because you're living at the bottom of a rainbow and that's what she says in that song and like soon you know everything that you've been through is going to just pay off i feel like that's that's kind of what's happening or well, let's just dive in before i babble because i think group one's reading went kind of longer than i intended um i try not to do with time limits on my reading but i definitely try not to go too long for your sake um but um i definitely feel like you're just starting to see the beauty and the you know the silver lining really and everything um, good and bad and just being grateful for where you are and all the things because you understand like you just understand like you have to be going through what you need to go through in order for you to grow in order for you to elevate in order for you to get to where you need to go and you're manifesting a path for yourself and that's you know you, you understand like it'll be worth it like it's shitty when you go through it but it's gonna happen you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Oh, you guys. We have number 18 with the heart chakra. This is love. So definitely, you if you haven't already watched Odessa's um, heart chakra reading, please go ahead and do so. Um, because you most definitely will have readings there. I think you'll definitely have readings in everybody's reading, to be honest with you. Because um, I'm excited to check out everyone's reading, to be honest with you. Um, I need to check out. You know, I just want to be in alignment. And I feel like this is the perfect way to start off the new year. Is to get, like, everybody's, like, doom, doom, doom. And be in alignment. Because 2023 is number seven. All about divinity, alignment. <laughs> We have number 13, coherence. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. 13 is a very lucky number for me, by the way. So it may be lucky for you too. I'm gonna put that there. We have otter. This is water energy. I love this, you guys. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It, doesn't have to be your sign, but you can take that as a layer of confirmation. Um, but it's just energy, you guys, so don't worry about it. And then we all, ooh, we also have, this is beautiful. 31, Crown of the Butterfly Bambini. I love all the colors we've got going on. Okay. I'm going to put this on this side. And honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I'm hearing love and honesty. Um, I don't know who sings it. Is it a Hawaiian style band? I'll drop that down below if I remember. Um, <clears throat> guys, this energy. Okay, 13, 31. I love how it's mirroring. Um, the numbers are flipped. So you might be seeing that a lot, 13, 31. Um, if you guys have not, um, if you guys don't have like a soulmate in your life, like romantic soulmate in your life um, right now already, or you, you're, maybe you are, and it's like, 
How do I explain that nicely? Okay. If you are looking for love or if you're not looking for love, I do feel like this could be the year that you find it or that it finds you, to be honest. Um, just because with coherence, the love, um, the mirrored numbers there, I, I feel like it's just happening. You know what I mean? The joy, the happiness the that's coming through with the otter card here. And I'm hearing <laughs> love and honesty. And because um, I love you, honestly, that's what I'm hearing. Um, and... Um, <laughs> Coherence for me, um, coherence for me really reminds me of like divine feminine and divine masculine coming together and cohering. Does that make sense? Um, it's like a convergence of the two coming together. Like, does that, does that make sense? That's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing in my mind and feeling in my body. It's, I don't, maybe I shouldn't say feeling in my body, but that's what I feel like it's happening. You know what I mean? I feel like that's the two energies are coming together and that's what's going on. That's what your third eye is activating this, this uh, soon. I don't know. Um, I don't know how soon, but that's what's happening. I feel like you are really coming into this time of your life where, you know, you're getting really raw and honest with yourself and allowing yourself to be joyful and content and blissful with, you know, living your life. Uh, maybe you've really experienced some dark times recently um, or all throughout your life. And now you've had this like awakening of sorts in which you are starting to see life through a different lens, if that makes sense. You are like, you're elevated in how you look at life. Like, do you see how perked up the otter is? Um, I feel like that's kind of what this is. Because with the crown of the butterfly bambini coming through, this card really talks about growth, progress, and a major, major transformation, okay? It's not just like a reg I mean, any transformation is pretty big, but this is like major, okay? Like life altering. Um, like this could be a return, return. This, yeah, yes. This could be like your Saturn return. This could be um, dark night of the soul type of thing, um, what I'm hearing. So for some of you, and now that you've come out of this really dark, dark time, this is really about you guys coming out on the other side. Now, if you are still kind of in that darkness, or maybe you're like, you know, when is this crappiness going to end? Um, I feel you. I feel you, group two. Um, I feel like this is me coming to you and telling you, like, have no fear. The rainbow is showing up for you. Okay? Look up. Look up, you beautiful, beautiful you, because that rainbow is shining bright in the sky and you will be able to see the light, okay? Because your transformation is so major. This death of your old self, it's, it was such a big transformation and it, it's the one that required so much strength and flexibility, right? It promised you so, it promises you so much happiness and so much, you know, just bliss and beauty and love and just you really coming to terms with like the fact that all the pain and hardship that you had to go through and maybe some of you even had to go through this alone you know or hit it really well I feel like not all of you will resonate with that being alone thing or dealing it with with dealing with it alone necessarily um but for some of you, maybe you did, maybe you hit it really well. Maybe you're someone who, um, you know, people don't even know, right? And for others of you, you know, everyone goes through it and it go, you go through it on the way that you go through it, you know, and that's totally fine, totally normal. Everybody has their own way of going through their darkness, going through their, their pain, you know, and anguish, and it just, it's like you're, you're going to be able to breathe again, you know, this heaviness that I'm feeling in my chest, it's like the weight is being lifted, and, you know, this, this change, this transformation, it was painful, it was hard, it 
required so much flexibility like I said you know bending and breaking and then mending and then crying and then being strong and then pretending to be happy and then smiling and like some people like I said maybe didn't even know anything about what was going on within you like you had this warrior-ness about you you know I feel like that's a major thing and now now you're going to be looking ahead to just this happiness because I feel like you're elevating. I feel like you've elevated. I feel like your third eye chakra, your third eye is elevating you, is activating all of these things within you. And it's just an alignment of all of your chakras, to be honest with you. Because we've got purple, we've got green, we've got the light blue with your throat chakra, we've got the green with your heart chakra, we've got red, orange, yellow. I think you're going to be in full alignment, you guys, the full spectrum. You chose the rainbow. Why? Because you're going to be in full alignment this year. You know what I mean? I said your reading hopefully wouldn't be too long. I feel like you might be the longest because you guys have been through so much full-on transformation. I've never seen a red butterfly like this ever in my life. And it's because you guys are a badass. You are transforming to be a badass. And you are. You guys, you are. This is about you coming out on the other side and dreaming so, so big because guess what? As this butterfly bambini, you are able to do anything now because you're coming out of this. You're coming out of this with love. You're coming out of this with grace. You're coming out of this with happiness and understanding that love is all you need and it's you are love, you know, it is the key to your transformation and this next chapter, this next stage, this next phase of your life. And if you focus on love and what is important and true to you and understand that you are so deserving of love and that you need to nurture your heart, you need to nurture yourself with love, you'll be able to accomplish anything. I know that sounds so cliche, but seriously, that's what it is. It's understanding like you loving on you because you at the end of the day you are love and you are so deserving and so worthy of it and everything that you desire is on its way to you. You know, I'm so called to share that affirmation with you. Um, everything that you want, need and want is on its way to you right now. You are open, you receive, and you are grateful and you are so worthy of it all. All of it. Okay, group two, just so you know, you are so worthy and so 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 worthy of everything coming towards you because you are and just now you know this next area that this your third eye is all about no worries hakuna matata you know it's like now you get to experience this elevated love because you're coming out on the other side i'm not saying that it's going to be perfect rainbows and butterflies you know I'm saying that things are so much easier because you have faced the darkest part. You face the darkest part. And now things are going to be so much easier, even the shitty parts, because you face the darkest part. So let's see. More detail. What? There's no more bullshitting in your life because you are so honest with yourself that that's what it is. Seven of Wands. Look at that. What is group two's third eye activating for them? Six of swords. Oh. Ace of wands. What is group two's third eye activating for them? What are we taking out? Two of cups. Guys, what? In the back of your deck, we have the King of Wands. Guys, group two, I feel like, so honestly, what your third eye is activating, normally I read the Seven of Wands as like 
kind of like challenging yourself, fighting within yourself, you know, things like that. But this is honestly a different depiction. I feel like this is you really rising above that. This is you being really confident and really trusting that you have what it takes. You've already risen above the things that you've, you know, the things that you have had to battle within yourself. I feel like you've already done that. And this is really reiterating that you are at peace with that, you know, like that you have done the work and now like anything that tries to poke and prod at you within yourself, any kind of challenge that comes up within you, you're at peace with it. You've got it. You're honest with yourself about it. And anything that comes up, you'll take it as it comes. You know, I think you've, you're moving into calmer waters now as far as like what's going on here, what your third eye is activating you're moving into peace, you're moving into joy, bliss, happiness, you know, you're moving into contentment and play, you're activating things that are more passionate for you, things that really light you up on the inside, and I feel like you're coming in to friendships at the very least, if not love, like I was telling you up here, you know, with this two of cups, at the very least, it's friendships, okay, soul soulmate type of energy when it comes to this two of cups i feel like at the very least it's soul family um type of energy um now at the very most it's soulmate energy you know that kind of energy um you coming into union with a romantic partner that kind of thing a romantic soulmate um and for some of you this could be you finding your way back to your twin flame in a healthy way now the King of Wands at the back of the deck for now, because we're going to draw a little more when I ask a separate question. Um, this is really about you mastering the things that really light you up. You know, you may have been really frustrated with certain things that you've had to deal with this past however long that you've been in this dark period and now it's about you really being honest with yourself really having more compassion and strength for yourself and being more confident in how you take things on and how you approach things in your life and how you stand and how you move forward being compassionate not just to others but also towards yourself I feel like you also have so much luck and prosperity coming into your way because I'm really drawn to the gecko on this King of Wands shirt, which really represents, you know, luck, prosperity for me. Um, behind this, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is really amazing energy as well. I think that this is about your independence and your abundance that you're coming into because you're really coming into this energy of coherence. You're balanced. You are going forward with, like I said, confidence, compassion, strength, and love. And when you do that in this way, in, in this like joyful and happy way, and you really understand, like, like I said, you, you're, you have this like new elevated perspective on your life. Like I get what I, what I had to go through and I see things through a different lens. You're so appreciative and you're so grateful for all the things. And when you live your life in such a grateful manner and such a grateful heart, and you're so appreciative of everything, you know, the universe brings you more and more things to be appreciative of, you know, more and more abundance, more gratefulness, things like that. And I really feel like that's what's happening here. Now, the one thing that I keep being called to talk about with this King of Wands, though it is in the upright, I do feel like there may be times when you might be frustrated with yourself or other people around you. So do be mindful of that because I'm not saying this is, like I said, life is not always going to be rainbows and butterflies. You know, there will be moments, of, there will be times where your patience will be tested. There will be times when you might get frustrated with yourself or someone else. And of course, that's normal. You know, we're human. So take that as you wish. Um, I do want to draw a few more to see how can we, how can group two, um, how can group two like activate their third eye? How can they tap into that, you know? Of course, nine of pentacles. Strength in reverse. And group two, hop into it. 
Queen of Cups. I'll give you two top and center third. And you also have the lovers, guys. Whoa. In the back of your deck with four swords reversed. Mm -mm, guys. Wow. Let's move this down a little. All right. Group two. As far as you guys activating that third eye and tapping into it, really like leaning into this energy, I feel like this is really embracing the things that are unfolding for you. Just really being like, I accept the things that are coming towards me and just really embracing that energy. You know, allowing yourself to be joyful, be happy, be playful, allowing yourself to tap into that happiness and that playfulness and enjoy your life. You know what I mean? Don't fight it. I feel like that's kind of what it is. Look how happy this person is in the Nine of Pentacles. This strength card in the reverse, this is about you really showing yourself that kindness and compassion towards yourself that you give out so freely to other people. You know, don't allow your heart to be so hardened by the darkness that you have gone through. And I don't think you have in any way. Just a little reminder that's coming through, I think, for just a couple of you but I do feel like for the most part you're very open and you're very honest and you're very loving with other people and it's just about you being open and honest and loving towards yourself and just understanding like you know be patient with yourself this is a healing process a healing journey and it's never ending you know you are stepping into this queen of cups energy in which you are so emotionally loving and kind and sweet and just loving on yourself and other people you know I think that their emotions are are balancing out. They're stabling out. Look how smooth and calm that water is in which the bowl is just like there, you know, so calm and zen. That's what I'm hearing. You know, uh, with the lover's card here, it's just, wow. Embrace what comes towards you. If it feels right, don't fight it. You know, despite whatever heartache and a heartbreak you may have been through, I feel like embracing what feels right and allowing yourself to feel what you feel and honoring those feelings, it's okay. You know, not everyone is going to break your heart. And I think that's important for you to understand um, with this lover's card coming through because I do think it is a romantic soulmate coming through. And if you're already with someone um, already who is a partner of yours that you feel is your like you know forever person this could just be like you guys are reigniting things or taking things to the next level in your relationship and allowing yourself to go there with this person allowing yourself to elevate that relationship and level up that relationship should it go there you know if you feel like it's right don't question it don't fight it you know like let yourself feel those feelings and honor those feelings. You know what I mean? I hope that's making sense, you guys. With the four of swords in the reverse, it's about you. Like, you don't need to take any more rest. You don't need to feel like you need to hide it anymore. Like, get back out there. Like, there's a part of you that feels like you can get back out there. Go for it. Don't worry. Did I just flip all my cards? You know? Okay. Just checking. Okay, we got some last minute things from this deck before we close out with the self-care cards. Okay, anything else we need to know from group two's third eye? Anything else about group two's third eye, please? Find the light. Definitely, like, because you've been in such a dark place for quite some time, <clears throat> I think you're already doing that. And it's just about you keep doing that, you know? I think your guides are just giving you that nod that you've been doing such a good job. See beyond. I mean, duh. You're already seeing beyond. Caution. This, I feel like it's about you holding on to this lock that you have around your heart for too much. Like, see how the vines are growing around that lock? Like, just be very mindful about how 
how hard that you grasp onto that lock, you know, because it might just rust away or it might just like get so vined up that you won't be able to find it in order for you to give it out, you know, when the time comes. And like, what I do feel like I want to talk about too is the numbers that are coming out for you guys. You have 31 and 13. We talked about that mirroring, right? Those both condense to four. You also have the four swords coming out. That's three fours, okay? A number really about foundation, structure, stability, manifestation, you guys, home. And I think you're it's about you finding home, not just within yourself, but also seeing that in someone else, reflecting that towards you as well this year. You know, you're gonna see that being reflected back towards you this year, I think also, you know. Um another thing I want to point out too is the six that you have. You have a six here and the six here with the lovers and the six of swords. I think that's important to talk about because six is also, you know, six is the number of the lovers, obviously. Six is the number of love, harmony, um, cooperation, things like that, um, communication. And I do think that has a lot to do with you being honest about your feelings, honest with the person that might be coming towards you. Um, and just, you know, being open about what you feel and you know if someone's making you feel like uncomfortable or going too fast or whatever voice it I feel like this person will really understand and you don't need to worry about it you know so closing out with advice and guidance for self-care with 37 music which I think is very healing for you but I'm also getting like to be very mindful of the kind of music that you listen to so don't listen to any more like heartbreak like, oh, he broke my heart music or things like that. Listen to music that makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very healing for you guys, group two. Advice and guidance for group two and healing their third eye. Make a meal. Nice. A healthy and colorful meal I'm getting. Because you guys had all the rainbow colors. So rainbow colored meal would be very helpful for you and nice and guidance for healing group two's third eye or activating it and of course you can listen to that 888 hertz that opens up your third eye i dropped the link down below we have nourish your temple more about nourishing your temple like your body things like that so this includes like um, moving your body, this includes stretching, this includes meditation, making a meal, things like that. <clears throat> Advice and guidance for group two, activating their third eye. We have read number 42, another six, guys. Wow. So definitely read a book something that makes you feel good and the back of your deck here we have connect with your ancestors oh i like that connecting with your ancestors and they're definitely here with you you guys so that is what i'm seeing for you group two thank you guys so so much for letting me read for you this was so fun to tap into this and i'm really excited for what's unfolding for you guys as far as like what your third eye is activating because i do feel like it does have a lot to do with like a soulmate coming in for you especially with like like even like what you chose there's two stars here right two stars two people coming forward you know there's so much mirroring going on within your message as far as like coming through like two hand holding this is mirrored you know this moth here as well um the hearts right the lovers obviously but I really do feel like this has a lot to do. That coherence card that we talked about where it's divine feminine and divine masculine coming together. And just so much like, I, I just, I really feel like that, that energy is coming through. Whether it be like I said, a soul family member coming through, it could just be that or an actual like twin flame soulmate type of energy coming through for you, romantic, you know? But that's where I'm going to leave your reading group too. Thank you guys so much for being here and letting me do this for you. 
please don't forget to check out the other readings dropped down below whatever colors you have not watched already um definitely check it out because i feel like every color is going to have a significant message for you as far as being in alignment and starting off your year with a bang you know what i mean um yeah i'm super excited thank you guys so so much if you guys enjoyed it please go ahead and drop um smash the like button and drop a rainbow emoji so i know that you're from group two and if you feel like sharing your stories letting me know how it resonated i love talking story with you guys in the comment section and getting to know you guys and things like that so i would love to hear from you in the comment section as well and yes if you feel called to subscribe please go ahead and do so and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat I will also be dropping my Patreon link down below in case you feel like joining our magical family there where we have weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube as well as other exclusive content not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you are watching this and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! What's up group three? He chose this bulgy eyed octo squishy dude. This is so fun to squish. Um, welcome to your reading. Um, right away, you guys, I'm hearing don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Do you know the song? I'm a horrible singer, so you might not even recognize it by my voice, but I'm hearing that song. I feel like you guys might be worried about something. Um, I don't know what, maybe you worry a lot in general about things. Um, stress, you might be stressed. You might stress quite often because I feel like this kind of reminds me of like a stress ball, you know? Um, so you might stress out a lot about things when you don't need to, or you shouldn't have to, or maybe it's totally warranted for some of you, you know what I mean? But I definitely feel like that might be your energy. For a lot of you i think also that you guys are very like i think you guys do your best to not stand out but at the same time because of the work that you do and you do it so well that you end up standing out does that make sense like you end up being like the top of the class or like you know the head bitch or the top worker even when i say bitch it means like the most loving way like you know what I mean like like the badass you know like oh I want to be like so and so like oh my gosh like um what is it called employee of the month that kind of thing I think you end up standing out because you are just one of those people who work really like incredibly and your work speaks for itself that sort of a thing you know what I mean um like whatever work that you do it's just incredible and people love it things like that and it doesn't matter what you even do for work like you could be you know i don't know i don't know i can't think of an example but moving on i think like you i'm just getting like you worry a lot or um people may even perceive you as somebody they underestimate and then they're like whoa where did that person come from? Where did group three come from? Like, I did not know that that person could do that. So, jumping in to your cards here. We've got number 36 with the soul star chakra, divine wisdom. Okay, I like this a lot, you guys. Divine wisdom. Nice, very wise. We have number 33, miracle. Yes. I'm hearing another song by BB Rexa. We don't need a miracle. Miracle. Okay, I'm a horrible singer, but I like that song a lot, so take a listen to that. <clears throat> the frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. Love it. Also, you guys, I'm dropping the frequency of 88 hertz. 888 eight, eight hertz <laughs> um for your third eye chakra down below in the description in case you're interested in listening to that to open up your third eye things like that so we have number number we have spider uh with earth sign energy so 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nice. Oh, also Virgo energy because like that perfectionist vibe. But yes, and I love how this is eight legs and the octopus is eight legs. So I feel like eight might be a significant number for you guys as far as like taking action, cycles, stepping into your power, things like that. We have number one meant for you. Ooh, yes, look at the intensity in her eyes. Just like your octopus too. And acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay. So, here we go. I feel like my cards are crooked. It's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. I apologize for the glare there. Um, guys, this is amazing. Okay, where do I want to go first? Let me take a drink of water, please. Or tea. Okay. <clears throat> Group three. <sighs> wow. Okay. I really am called to talk about her first meant for you. There is something that you maybe have been manifesting actively or like a lot, maybe really hard in the last, I feel like quite some time could have been the past year or maybe not as long, but for someone out there it could be as long as a year maybe even longer. Um, and I feel like it's really close to popping off and coming towards you. And it's like the intensity in the octopus and this, this person's eyes here. It's like, oh my gosh, I need to pay attention so I don't miss it. And like her eyes, her hands reaching out so that she can grab it. You know what I mean? And like just understanding like what you want has been called forward and it's coming your way. So just be ready to grab it and accept it and really trust that it's happening. It's coming for you and it's, it's popping off, you know? Um, and you have eight arms here to grab it. So don't worry. And it's meant for you. It won't pass you by unless you choose to say no. You know what I mean? Um, I also feel like, yeah, like acceptance, you know, accept that it's there. It's happening. Um, you know, the card says something else. Um, with a spider energy, you're someone who's very creative. I feel like um, creative in general. Like I said, you're somebody who might be admired for the work that you do, um, things like that. Um, <clears throat> I think this card also really talks about um, process oriented versus results oriented. So it's kind of like making you think quality versus quantity. You know, um, I feel like too, with this Octo, I think that you guys really, um, are multi, multi tasks, wow, I'm jumbling my words here, multi talented, you know, you do a lot of different things and you're able to do a lot of different things. And therefore you have a lot of divine wisdom within you as well. I think that you are also someone who's able to create a lot of prosperity and abundance because of that as well. And understanding that, you know, um, though you may have like dropped the ball on things because you may have, you know, diverted your attention to so many things at once and maybe, you know, you needed to hone your focus or attention on maybe just a few things versus like 10 um, or eight in your case you know, just learning to accept the things that you can't change. Like don't look back on the past instead of learn from them and take that divine wisdom moving forward and understanding that you have so much connection to the universe and yourself, you know, like you're so deeply connected and you are an expression of divine light and this divine light of the universe and it's time for you to really look for whatever answers you might be looking for outside of yourself as far as like solutions to certain things or inspiration or such like that it's time for you to look within yourself and trust your heart trust the answers that are really within yourself and because you maybe have been looking for so long outside it's because the answers are already inside of you 
You know what I mean? You're so deeply connected to this deep divine wisdom within you that is connected to the universe, if that makes sense, um, with the soul star chakra here, that you don't even understand the, the types of information that is being downloaded towards to you you know, that other people may not be able to access. Um, I don't know how spiritual you may be watching this, and for each of you, it might be different within this group. But it's understanding that, you know, there are certain things that you might get in your dreams or, you know, just popping into your head, whether it be in your waking life or your sleeping life. This could be daydreams or night dreams, you know? Um, and not necessarily a dream card, but, like, depending on how you get your downloads you know what I mean I feel like this wisdom may come to you and speak to you and you might find answers that way you know to whatever this whatever answers you may be looking for and this will help you to create whatever um, prosperity whatever abundance whatever opportunities you're trying to create for yourself as far as this manifestation coming towards you is you know with this miracle coming through i do feel like it has a lot to do with divine timing and things popping off at the right time or people coming into your life at the right time or an offer being extended to you at the right times like right place right time things aligning um in in the way that they need to be especially with 33 being a master number um i definitely feel like it's about expansion and things like that you know alignment stuff um so definitely very interesting and very exciting for you guys um but yeah you guys group three i feel like this is very exciting energy for you guys i do want to get more details with tarot as far as like what is your third eye activating for you what is group three's third eye activating because for some reason your explanation is a lot shorter and i need to draw tarot What is group three is third eye activating? Is three of cups reversed? Okay, page of cups. What is group three is third eye activating? The magician. What is group three is third eye activating? Did I flip? What is group three's third eye activating? What is group three's third eye activating? The wheel. In the back of your deck with the queen of swords. For now, until we flip over more. So group three. This is really interesting. Um, I feel like your third eye like I said, is activating this divine timing and things are just lining up for you. This is something you've been manifesting and it's like going to pop off at the right place, right time. And it's like karmic, I feel like too. Like things that are meant for you are coming, you know, when it's meant to. And really just trust in that and be ready to accept it. You really have the tools and the resources within yourself and around you, you know, to make this happen. And when I say around you, I don't mean like look outside, but like, you know, within your reach, you know, like you don't need to go looking for them. You already have them within your grasp, if that makes sense, or within your possession. Um, I do feel like too, that like whatever inspiration that you've been looking for is going to be there. It's happening. It's like, you know, that whenever this page of cups pops off, I always hear when pigs fly and that's like, you think that this isn't going to happen for you, this miracle isn't going to come through, but it is. You know, when pigs fly, people say that. When pigs fly, that's when it's going to happen. Like, I'll, I'll get this when, when pigs when pigs fly. But you're it's happening. You know, pigs are flying and it's happening. It's truly being accepting of you being worthy. You, you understanding you are worthy. Does that make sense? Like, accept it. 
accept that you are worthy accept that you are worthy of this dream that you've had this manifestation you've been wanting and coming through and with this three of cups reverse just really being mindful of like what I feel like this three of cups is is like maybe certain people's energies might be draining you um you giving too much away to people when you don't need to and and or it could be that you are having a little too much fun you know what I mean um which may or may not be um something that is necessarily for everyone um but the main thing I'm getting from this three of cups is like accepting that there are certain people in your life who are not meant to be there when this happens, you know, not meant to be there when things pop off for you, you know what I mean? Because they're only there to take advantage of your winnings, you know, not there to support you in your darkest times or in your low times, things like that. And you finally seeing the truth for what it is with this Queen of Swords card, you know, with this Three of Cups here, I feel like this person or maybe even group of people may be there for you when it's time to party or time to have a good time, but maybe not necessarily when it's time for you to come into your abundances and your prosperity, you know, because maybe they're like, no, that, I don't think that's a good idea for you to do that. Or like, I don't think it's going to happen for you. You shouldn't do it, you know, and it could be like they abandoned you when you needed their help and support the most, you know, they, they didn't believe in you when you needed them to believe in you. And it's accepting and finally seeing the truth for what it is and seeing that maybe those people were not, no longer you know I don't want to say not true friends because um I feel like that's not necessarily the case but I feel like maybe it's time that you've outgrown them you know maybe now you have outgrown each other and it's time for you to move forward and find a new group of people who understand what you're going through and it's totally fine it's totally normal and it's totally okay you know, I do feel like also that this is about you understanding that when this happens to not worry if like and not feel like you're going to be alone either. Because I do feel like with that happening, you're going to find new people in your life as well. You know, sometimes when we come into this, we feel like so alone and like maybe we put our money first or our abundances and our wealth first and that makes us like greedy when that's not the case you know I do feel like this is about us moving into peace and recognizing that sometimes it's about balance and taking care of ourselves and pouring back into our own lives and just seeing that sometimes we need to put ourselves first in order for us to take care of others like the way that we would like to but like that doesn't necessarily mean we have to drain ourselves in order to make other people feel better so that we have to live our lives feeling like glass half empty the whole time in order for everyone else to be happy. That's not the way it, that's not the way life is. No, it's not. Okay. It's about having compassion for yourself, strength for yourself. This is crazy that this is happening and I don't ever, ever flip cards like this. You guys, if you're familiar with my channel, I never do this, but oh my gosh, that's crazy. I never do this, you guys. Um, I just felt called to flip the deck over and start flipping. Look, this is your Queen of Swords. That was at the back of your deck. And then I flipped it to the top part and I started flipping and telling the story. But like I said, you had, you need to have compassion and kindness for yourself and focus on you. And you will come into this abundance and independence that you so deserve, this happiness. And sure enough, you will find people who will be your people and support you. You know what I'm saying? So let's look into it. Like once you activate, once you activate this, what's going to happen? Oh my God, that's, that was what's next. The nine of cups. You're going to be fulfilled. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. This is like, oh my gosh. And then that's a rebirth after that. Oh my God, this is crazy. Eight of Pentacles, just be patient and keep working on you. Okay, I sound crazy, but seriously, I don't make that, like, literally. Okay, how many cards was that that I flipped over? 
That was the Eight of Pentacles that I flipped over. Yep. Look at that. All of those for you. That was what we flipped over, you guys. No joke. Okay. Before I go crazy, and before this reading gets too long. <clears throat> Actually, we're making good time on this reading. Very happy. And your reading is seriously so good. I'm talking to myself. Actually, I'm talking to you guys. Sorry if you hear me rambling. But this is exciting. Okay. Let's see. How? I need drink water. Sorry if you hear me burp. It's actually because that's energy being channeled. Did you know that? I learned that from did I learn that from Chloe Taylor? I think I did. Shout out to my girl Chloe. How can group three activate their third eye? Is this going to be a red or reversed? Okay. That's the double. Reverse. Nice. How can group three activate their third eye? Sorry if you hear my daughter in the background. It's hard to make her be completely quiet during filming. But I do my best and she does her best. Oh, six of swords. Okay. Cool. How can group three activate their Two pentacles and one more. How can group three activate their third eye? Two cups. Nice. Okay. What's that song? I just heard it. King of Cups reversed in the back. It's Fergie. Fergie Ferg. Dunk dunk. That's what I'm hearing. Dunk dunk. Fergie Ferg. I don't know what song that is. How come every time you come around my... I don't know. Oh, London Bridge. My London Bridge. Wanna go down like London, London. Wow, that's an old song, Spirit. Why is that song coming up? Somebody listening to that? Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes um, I feel like it's so random because I can't make the connection. Okay, guys. How can you activate your third eye? Let's take a look. Whew. We've got double sixes here and double twos with the two, two, and the six, and the 15 condenses to six. So I really like this, guys. Oh, you have two ones here. Hmm. Oh, three ones. Wow. Okay, guys. So with the double in reverse and the six of swords i do feel like this is about you really rising above certain things and moving towards peace you know choosing to see the light versus your shadow like acknowledging your shadow and understanding like i see you i love you and choosing that above all else choosing to love on your shadow and understanding like accepting your shadow is what it is mm -hmm. accepting your shadow for what it is and loving it for what it is you know I feel like that's what it is here with you like understanding like this divine wisdom within you that you can't necessarily delete that part of you you know you might not necessarily love it just yet now now that's not for all of you because some of you are I feel like some of you have learned to really love and accept that shadow side of you um while others of us are still learning to do that you know I feel like there's a mixed bag here. Um, but really, how do we activate and tap into that is learning to accept our shadow self, learning to really heal that part and do the shadow work and be like, okay, I see you. I, I'm working on it. And you know what I mean? Um, doing that shadow work and moving into peace and acceptance with it and learning to really be good with our shadows. Does that make sense? Like understanding that our shadow selves are really a strength and not something to be ashamed of or afraid of or things like that, you know? 
um, learning to find balance and seeing the priorities that we have and how do we juggle our shadow and our light side, you know, and learning to find love within ourselves, within that. And because we can do that, learning, learning to juggle that shadow and light aspects within ourselves, learning to choose, you know, we can't only see light, we can't have, you know, <clears throat> we can't only choose to see the light and only see positive um, within the situation. Not to say that, you know, choosing to think positively is bad because it's, of course it's not, but we also need to acknowledge that shadow aspect, acknowledge the negative, just recognize that it's there. Not to say that we need to dwell in it or dream, you know, you know what I mean? That's not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we recognize it for what it is, accept it, and we can, of course, hope for the best. You know what I mean? Choose to think that way. Choose to think the positive way as long as you acknowledge that, of course, there is that opposite aspect. You know, we don't just like dismiss it, if that makes sense. And I hope it's making sense um, because that's when it becomes toxic, right? Um, and that way we can make room for these new friendships, these new relationships coming in, whether it be um, romantic or platonic coming in, you know, it's going to differ for each of us. And I really love too how like the essences, does that make sense, of the Two of Cups are rainbows. So it's really interesting too, like how colorful it is. And I feel like by you healing this part of you, by you doing the shadow work and recognizing that you'll be less moody, you know, if you've been moody or you'll be less like prone to lashing out or frustrated with yourself or other people around you. You'll be feeling a lot lighter within your emotions, within your mood, things like that because they have this King of Cups in the reverse. You'll feel a lot more balanced in that aspect and with the Seven of Cups reversed here behind that as well, I feel like you'll understand like the choices that you make and know clearly what choices to be making as well because you'll be more clear and level-headed in your not just level-headed but level-hearted if that makes sense you know you you won't be necessarily feeling like a, such a challenge within yourself as far as like what do I do next like am I doing the right thing like pushing away the shadow because you'll recognize it for what it is and see it as a strength within yourself because you'll be able to see both sides of the spectrum if that makes sense and so because of that, that just makes you that much stronger. That just makes you that much more wiser and full of wisdom. That just makes you that much more, you know, able to create something more beautiful and more, give it more depth and more creative aspects, if that makes, I don't, I'm sure I'm not saying that nicely, but just give it more depth and more honesty and just be able to relate to more people on an honest level. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that makes sense. So let's see what other messages we can get as far as like your third eye. What messages your third eye might have for you? What is your third eye activating for you? Because this is really interesting. So different from all the other readings. I mean, your other the other two readings are different from each other as well. So I love that. But this is like really about something you've been manifesting coming forward towards you and it's, it's just divine timing, divine things, and you being ready to accept it. So what else can you tell us about group three's third eye? Or what does group three need to know about their third eye? Ignites. Yes, get ready to pop off because things are going to go off for you guys, group three. Things are about to ignite and go, like, your soul is going to be lit on fire, group three. We also have open, so a doorway is going to be opening up for you guys, a new opportunity, a new pathway, things like that. And we also have messenger, so somebody might be coming through with a message, you guys, and has a lot to do with, I think, the next opportunity, the next thing coming towards you, things like that. So finishing off now with these self-care cards, as far as like what you can do to heal your third eye and open that up. So let's take a look, shall we? So advice and guidance, please, for group three, 
and their third eye. Advice and guidance for group three and their third eye, please. It's way too many cards. Advice and guidance for group three and their third eye, please. Connect with fire. Yes. Definitely do it safely, please. <laughs> Just please be safe when you do so. But definitely, I feel like maybe candle magic might be something you might feel drawn to. Um, things like that. Looking into the flame of a candle and meditating, stuff like that. Um, you also have build strength. So some strength training, um, working out in that way will really help you connect to your third eye. Look at that. It's open wide. So I love that for you guys. Advice and guidance for group three, connecting to their third eye. Advice and guidance for group three and connecting to their third eye use your hands Ooh, i like this so if you are it could because you guys are so creative like i don't know if you guys do any type of like pottery or clay work or maybe like knitting um something like that but any type of work with your hands i feel like i i was going to say like i keep staring at my little palmistry statue thing there and so maybe you guys do something with your hands in that way or feel called to like really look into doing some palmistry i might be doing some like palm type things um, as far as like shorts on my YouTube so keep an eye out for that or let me know down below if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff I've been learning um, number 29 journal so journaling scripting I feel like might help in terms of like bringing your manifestation forward I feel like you've already been doing that but definitely journaling and things like that will help um, we also have number five beauty ritual so doing something that makes you feel beautiful and it doesn't matter what your gender identity is we all have things that make us feel like looking you know attractive do what makes you feel attractive you know what i'm saying so that is where i'm gonna leave your reading group three i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for letting me read for you if you guys did enjoy it please go ahead and smash the like button and comment an octopus emoji down below so i know you're from group three and let me know what's going on and how this resonated for you i love talking story with you in the comment section so i would love to hear about it and talk with you and get to know you and all of that stuff down below and um if not no worries i totally get it and yes thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it and love it here please go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat i will also be linking my patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube and exclusive content also not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for being here and I appreciate you all. Don't forget to check out the other readings also linked down below. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you soon. Bye!